Hi, I'm Ronnie Peck, pastor of Millington First United Methodist Church, and this is your midweek faith lift. In the 11th chapter of Acts, verse 26, Luke says this, And when he, that would be Paul, had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they associated with the church and taught a great many people. And it was at Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. I remember reading a story about a man once who talked about when he was a little boy that he would spend a lot of his summers visiting his grandmother and grandfather. He loved to visit them on the farm and uh, do various chores and just learn what it meant to live in, in that environment. And he says that while he was there, his grandmother would take him to church. And he recalls one Sunday that while they were sitting there in church, he looked up at his grandmother he said, Grandma, what kind of church is this? And she replied, It's Methodist. And he asked her, Are they Christians? Well, he then went on to say that over the next few summers, as his relationship with that church grew, he learned a great deal about what it meant to be Christian, that oftentimes people from the church would take food to those people who were ill that sometimes they would drive people to the doctor who didn't have a way to go otherwise. He said at one point even there were some people that came over and plowed and planted crops for a farmer who had grown ill. And on and on it went. Asking, are you a Christian? Uh, that's a pretty loaded question. Because you know the word Christian means little Christ. So are you a Christian? Does your life reflect the values and the character of Christ? There's a question we used to ask each other a long time ago, and that was, if, if you were on trial for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Well, I hope I can answer yes to that question. In fact, I hope we all can. Have a great day, and I'll see you this time next week.